Hello, I'm Hollis from Hollis's IC Lab, and today I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm attempting to make an SR71 again. Because if you, as you saw in my last video, you probably know that, yeah, that one didn't hurt. That was just a quick one I built in an afternoon, so I really didn't spend much time on it, and it wasn't really to scale or anything, too. This one, I actually looked at a lot more pictures and did it to scale and stuff. Uh, so, and this one took me a lot longer than just an afternoon, so, yeah, well, this is just like part one though, unfortunately, because it's taken me so long to build it, I haven't quite finished it, so sorry about that, probably be a while, about one more video, take one more video to finish it and fly it, I really did try and do it in one video, but just this video originally was for four hours of footage, so, yeah, it was kind of hard to edit down this short, so, I am now just like, I drew out the plan, so I'm now working on scaling it up on the phone board, unfortunately I forgot to record a lot of it, so that's so sorry. I thought I was recording, but I'd accidentally paused the video recording. And also, now that I've built a better camera mount, so in the next video I have an adjustable camera mount that can move up so you can have the full, full plane in view. So, sorry about just how small the zoomed in this is, basically, so you can barely see anything. I try and keep what I'm working on in view, though, but in my newer videos, I'll now have the adjustable camera mount. So I'm working on using a calculator to scale this down to the, so it's completely, to scale and everything. Mm. So this drawing, that drawing I have, you can see is 12 inches long, then I'm scaling it up, up each inch is two and a half inches long, so that's how I scaled it up basically, so I'm just working on doing that now. And this is the part where I accidentally forget to record, so sorry about that, I'm basically just scaling up that smaller picture so you don't miss much, but you'll see the finished drawing in just a minute of the full set. Now I'm working on cutting it out. So I'm just doing that really quickly, but well, obviously really quickly because this video sped up so much, but in reality it actually took me a little longer. I don't just like have super speed or something to do this. So I'm just working and cutting out the back now. And I'm designed this one to be IC so it can be remote controlled. So now I'm figuring out with a motor. So we'll go in. Last time, the reason it crashed and did not fly well was due to motor tilt, since I'd accidentally had the motor tilted slightly the wrong direction. So, yeah, that really did not help. But this time, I think I figured out the problem. I hope. I, actually, I know I figured out the problem. So, I think I figured out a way to fix it. So, I'm going to be a lot more careful when launching this one because it's taken me a long time to get built. So. Yeah. So now I'm working on drawing out the shape for the body of the plane. I'm going to be like a frame of foam board and then cover it in post board. So I, I've quite stock actually. I have some, lots of pieces of good stuff. So now I'm just cutting out the piece that go on the plane. Then I'm cutting out an area for like the battery and stuff to go in. This will be where the battery and stuff, the electronics will go. So I'm just cutting that out and gluing it in place. I'm test feeding the power pod again. I'm just using a, my Flight Test Mighty Mini power pod with an Emacs motor and a 30 amp ESC. And then just a race drum propeller. If this works, I may try and post plans for it sometime in the future. So, if this does work out, you could look forward to that sometime in the future. So now I'm just working on building the frame right now. I'm 
try and make this flame as light but as strong as possible so it doesn't just explode on impact but even so on just a normal landing. And if you don't know, uh, you know the SRS-71 Blackbird is one of the, I'm pretty sure it is the fastest plane in the world. It's been retired now though so it no longer flies in the military. Something because of how expensive it was and then because they were never shot down in action, I'm pretty sure, from what I've done some research on, but they did crash sometimes, because they're just so fast. So I'm just working making the frame a little bit more. Also, sorry, this video is coming out a little later than I've been uploading my other videos. It's taking me a little longer to edit, just because of how big the file was. And recently, if you've probably noticed, I've been trying to post every day. So right now, I'm just working on making, like, the aileron elevator things. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. And then I'm going to get the things for, like, the nap. I'm not exactly sure if it's like nassles, whatever they call them, the wing. And then I'm putting, using a, half of a popsicle stick to make so both sides of the elevator aileron things will move with one circle. Because I think also no problem with my last build was I did not have quite enough control. So I'm also just putting in the servos now. I'm just using the same servos and control ones from my last build. Just making sure they're all centered now before I glue them in place. So now I just glued them in place and testing everything that's going the right direction and everything. So now I'm just working on a little bit more of the frame. And then also building the frame for the nassel. I should probably figure out how to pronounce it. So I'm just gluing those in place. I use five for each side, and there's two sides on each side, so I need 20 of those little pieces in total to the whole thing and I cut it out I think this might be my final version of the SI71 if this one doesn't fly well I'm going to test it really carefully so if it doesn't fly I'll probably just do one test flight and try not to crash it too badly and then repair any damage and then just put it on the spot because this has been quite a bit old and I tried to make it as accurate detail as possible so yeah and I'm just cutting out more of those and gluing them in place and doing that on the other side too so now I'm just working putting things on the sides of the motor mount and that'll hold the motor mount up power pot in place. So you can't really see what I'm doing here. That's why I built the new power pod or the camera mount I mean future videos that can extend out to get, so you can see my whole desk and we'll carry all, all projects so that should be a lot better. So now I'm just working on covering them in code stock now. Just put glue on it and then use a ruler to Wrap it so it's stuck down so it's nice and smooth. And I'm doing the same for the other side. And this is looking really nice right now. Oh, you can't really see how, but. There is like a few dents on that, so I might try and fix that later. 
Alright, share. So now I'm just doing the same for there. Yeah. I'll have like hatches on the bottom so I can access the electronics. And so, at this point, I haven't even really started working on the bottom yet. Just been doing the top. and I'm just working like with the window because I do build something here but I'm not happy with it so I remove it later and I still haven't gone back to finish in the window so then I just glue some plates and trim them down a little bit to fit and then I just glue some side pieces on now I'm going to glue the wind on top, but as I've already told you, I'll later remove that. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you leave a like, and if you're watching future videos of Pet 2, if this, yeah, I'd appreciate if you subscribe. Right now about 94% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed, so I'd really appreciate if more people subscribed. Because I've been trying to upload more consistently than my normal upload schedule, which has been really bad. Uh, like once every couple of months, so yeah, I'm sure I post a lot more. So now I'm working on the bottom of the plane. And right there you can see I'll be having a hatch. There so I don't build thing where I'll later be building that hatch. So I'm just test fitting all the electronics again like the Bottom and battery and stuff to make sure they're all fit. There's also another problem with my last build was that the battery wire did not quite go further enough back to get to the power pod, so I had to move the battery further back and I will So that may have messed up the CG because I had balanced out and it did glide well before. And so I, did not, I had that glide test it and it worked like that, so that's one of the reasons I know it was more motor torque that mainly made it crash. So now I'm just building the frame for the bottom and then building in the hatch there. So I'm just building that and then gluing the pieces together. And I'm gluing pieces on either side too. Then I'm putting card stock over that and then cutting it down to size. And as you can probably see now, this point's really starting to take shape. And like my last was not just like some square build, it's actually shaped like the real plane. I'm hoping this build won't take me much longer to do because it's already taken me a couple of days of work. So now I'm working on the bottom of the plane more, which I've already said multiple times. Now I'm working on the top and then just like getting the battery has to. Okay, now I'm cutting out all the little pieces for the now. So I just decided to do it one tier at once to just make it easy for myself so I don't have to keep. Them out, I just draw it and cut them all out so that I can just glue them all in place at one go. One go. So I'm just doing that. Should probably be saying talking the whole time to try and keep this video interesting because I know not everyone wants to just watch me build something for like 17 minutes. So I'm just gluing those all in place now and then trimming them all down to fit.
and then just gluing cardstock over them. And then trimming the excess cardstock off the ends. And then do the same for the other side. So now I'm just finishing up the motor mount. Up the the top of it. And then test fitting the motor. Everything. And I'm just working more on the um, bottom right now too. On the frame and stuff. And I'm building a hatch here so I can plug the battery in. So I'm just building the hatch quickly. I'm only building on one side because I don't need it on both sides. So it's just a swinging hatch that just swings open. Now I'm putting some framework on that, and then I'll put some duct tape on it to hold it in place. And then building the framework for the other side. Then I'm putting cardstock over that. And with that, that's about all for this video. So if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. And if you would like to see future videos from me, make sure you subscribe. So that's all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.